Hey guys, that could have ended badly. You guys ever just take one of those naps where you're like, you know, I'm just feeling a little like tired. You know, I took a Benadryl earlier because fall allergies really be getting to me right now. And then you just wake up and you feel like all of the gunk has just drained to your eyeballs. Hashtag relatable. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel right now because right after class, I was just trying to do homework and schoolwork and I took a nap because I was like, well, I took a Benadryl. It's natural, you know, to feel really tired. So let's just give in. So here I am in front of the uh, piano because this is the only brick wall we have in our um, apartment. I think it's really aesthetic and I just really want to use it. Um, only problem is that it's also the only light source in our apartment, so hopefully I'm not too silhouetted for you guys, but I just wanted to try this out and see how it goes. Maybe I can play you some tunes I've been uh, practicing later. There's a dead bug in there. That's gross. Anyway, but you didn't come here to listen to me ramble. You came here to watch me paint this terracotta pot because I have three plant children. Number one, this one is Larry. We have this one. They've been getting too much sun. They're a little crispy. I'm sorry, guys. Then we have this guy. Obviously, I have been a terrible plant mother because they are getting a little crispy and yellow on the edges because, oops, the leaf just fell off. Yeah, they're getting a little crispy because I've been leaving them out on this windowsill and I guess it's too hot for them. But Iggy and I bought these uh, two terracotta pots because we want to plant them in some bigger pots so that they can grow nice and big. And I think the one I want to replant is this one because I think it'll look really cool kind of all grown out more. Let's start. Let me grab all my art shit and get at it. I don't like how low this is, so I'm gonna go grab our dining room table and bring it over and see what that does. Okay, I think I like this setup a lot more. I just had to literally rearrange the whole entire studio, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, here are the paints that I've had since freshman year of high school. Put this down so we don't ruin our very, very nice um, $130 dining table so you know what? i think i'll use this you know get a wide range to range my other tinier paint brushes um and then i just need the paint palette wherever i put that okay well i can't find my paint palette but i do have this white um paper palette stuff that you can use we have here water for painting and then water for drinking you mustn't confuse the two or else um be bad Okay, well, let's start painting, I guess. I am going for kind of an abstract, minimalistic look today. Probably incorporate different shapes or lines. I don't know, just whatever I'm feeling, I'm not sure. Well, I definitely want it to be like white because I think that'll just look very nice and modern. I actually haven't painted with acrylic in a very long time, literally like for a year because um, it just is messy, I guess. And because I have a Procreate um, and a lot of my assignments in art school have such a short turnaround time, uh, I've just been working digitally, um, which I really enjoy working digitally, but definitely getting your hands dirty sometime can be really fun. I always go on Pinterest to find some um, inspiration Ooh, what if i painted mushrooms i don't know but i just want to start with a white canvas so i'm just not gonna think about it too much even if i decide to paint um over the white like it's just good to prime you know and just to be careful i'm not gonna paint the bottom or the inside i don't want any acrylic seeping through to the plants i don't really know how that would work but uh just to be cautious, I guess. Um, you can't see it, but we have some succulent fertilizer down there that's just been sitting um, for like a month. So we just haven't gotten to repotting and painting these bad boys. But yeah, my head is just like feeling so full of gunk right now. Like, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's like, I do know what it is. It's fall allergies, <laughs> but um, it's just a special kind of feeling. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited for fall, so maybe I should do something um, that has fall vibes. Whenever I work traditionally, I have this pressure that things just need to um, 
kind of be perfect or be better or something like that because like when it's digital I don't put as much stress on if things look great uh, the first time around because you know it's not like I'm wasting materials uh, I can easily color things in and then go back and change the color whereas traditional I mean it's like yeah with acrylic you can go back and change everything but um, just takes a long time and I just kind of want things to be good out of the gate but yeah I would really love to go um, to like Halloween haunt or something this fall like at Worlds of Fun I've never done that I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat though when it comes to like scary things <laughs> um, obviously but I get startled very easily like if you just do this to me you know you go poof I'll probably like I usually jump and I know there's a lot of um, like zombies that walk around haunts and like scare people but I don't know you know I think they say that the best way to get over a fear is just to expose yourself to it oh no <laughs> okay washcloth is needed so that I don't get paint all over the table but damn it keeps uh, getting its little get, keeps getting stuck to the pot and then it gives it this weird texture okay so now I am going to let this dry go on Pinterest um, find a few um, inspirations for what to paint on this and I'll see you in a sec I hope this black works. Ooh, I forgot I have this color. Hmm. I don't want to do a black and white pot. I think it'll keep it nice and simple. What if I did black Posca marker? You fools thought I was here to paint because I had all my paint shit out? Ah, nah, I'm simple and I'm just doing Poscas. This is the photo I'm kind of referencing. I really love all the lines and kind of like the porousness of the underside of mushrooms. So I think I just want to do, um, abstractions based on that. Surprise, surprise, my um, five-year-old, five years, wait, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, my seven-year-old um, paint that I have here is just not living up to what I want it to. So I have this um, six-year-old paint right here <laughs> and I'm gonna see if it's better. <sighs> Please don't explode, okay. Seems a lot thicker, so that's nice. I feel like I'm having a hard time getting the lines very like um, kind of what I want them to be because first of all like whenever I put it down on the pot it doesn't show up 100% like pigmented you know it kind of like um, blurs off at the edges uh, so it's not as clean as I want it to be but uh, maybe I can go back with some white and clean it up or just make these lines really really thick you know I'm going with it though I'm not here to stress or worry um, this is supposed to be relaxing. God damn it. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know a lot about plant care. The first plant that I had, um, I killed it. It was an aloe vera and apparently they are not supposed to get that much water. You know, I mean, who knew? They always say water your plants. I'm like, yeah, you're supposed to water your plants. And nope, that's what killed it. But, um, I learned after that you're only supposed to water your plants if they feel dry in the soil. So now every week I just kind of stick my finger down there and uh, see if it's wet. If you guys have any plant tips for me, let me know. I would love to populate my apartment with plants, but um, we only have this one window, so I'm afraid if I buy more plants um, and say like put them over on the opposite side of the room, they won't get a lot of light unless I buy some um, plant lights. But I don't know, are there any plants that like just don't need a lot of white? Because I want some hanging plants, I want some like plants for just in the corner, um, and plants that are studio apartment friendly. A funky little design here, but the real magic is going to happen when I add in all the line work. At least that's the hope. Okay, this is fine. This is good. I'm just trying to decide, first of all, uh, the photo I'm using, the reference photo, has a bunch of pink mushrooms, and I think that's really, really pretty. So I'm thinking about maybe painting just a few of them, oopsie, a few of them pink. But I'm also wondering, um, should I line work all of them or only a few of them? Because I'm afraid if I do line work on everything, it'll look kind of crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and like 
just start line working. Um, just a few, just a few to see how I feel about it. Um, it got dark last night and I just got really tired so I decided to save the potting for today um, but I did indeed wear the same outfit for continuity okay so let's try to pot this plant I've never repotted a plant before um, and I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope I don't get dirt everywhere on the carpet <laughs> Oop! I didn't charge my camera so it's giving me the red flashing light of death you know, there are dead bugs in here, but I assume that's they're gonna act as like, you know, extra fertilizer and um, nutrients for my plant, you know? Like, that's what worms are for, right? Yummy soil. Yeah, there's a hole in the bottom of this and we never bought a, um, a little plate to go under. So I hope it doesn't need it. I hope it's fine. I'm not gonna fill this whole thing with soil. I don't think it needs a lot. I'm doing it the um, barista style uh, bean pour method where you cut a little slit at the end. Now I make a little well. Okay, which one am I taking? I'm taking you. Look at him, came right out perfectly. And I've been doing um, bottom watering. Um, so I fill the sink with water, put him in, and let him drink up. And his roots have been really growing. Um, quite a bit, so hopefully he expands in this pot and is able to grow to his fullest potential. I don't know what I'm doing, guys, obviously. What should his name be? Leave in the comments below. The most liked name uh, is what I will name him. <laughs> I'm so messy and I have carpet. Why do I do this? Can someone tell me why every time I fall in love it seems to 